Hello Lola, so we're here and we're doing a, another quick comparison. I am really needing to take them out of their Christmas wear. I have not did that as of yet, but um, these two I think have similarities in their skin tone, but I don't think they are the same color, especially in their face. I think I painted their faces a lot different. I need to lift make this head up a little bit so you guys can see him a little bit better um i'm going to take his jumper off just because that way you can see his legs because i feel like i feel like his face is a little bit lighter just like her face is a little bit lighter than her actual um body because we tend to be a little bit lighter in the face sometime um than our limbs. So I'm gonna I don't even have all the socks. Uh 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 um okay. Alright. Cause I need to change them anyway. I don't want to change him. I think he's okay. But Zora definitely gotta come out to Christmas. Where? I think their their like their their skin tone and texture is similar in my opinion. Oh <laughs> look at him. <laughs> so funny. Okay. Alright. So like show her legs a little bit more. Alright. So And the thing is, it's like, just like with my Zuri, when the light hit them, sometimes it looks like they have more sheen than they do. But like, this is their legs. And I feel like their legs have a lot of the same coloring and the same kind of mottling in them. Like, she has a lot of mottling in her for her to be as big as she is. Um, it's not like baby modeling but it just it's just a way that I do it to make it look more like skin so if you put his leg against hers then you'll see it's barely different let's see alright let's see I'm trying to get the light see that I was shocked because I had no clue that I had gotten that close to to his color. But his color is a little bit darker. It's, I mean, you can see it in person. On camera, it's kind of hard to see. And the thing is, is when, when shadows are cast on these babies, it's very hard to really show what they look like. Like, especially... Um, if you paint like with sh shading and the undertones and stuff like that can mess with it. Now, I don't do a lot of shading. <sighs> I think that's the difference with me. And I, 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 it's not that I don't like shading. I think shading is important and it's nice when painting. But I don't, it's, it's not something that I, I do a lot of. I'm working on it. <laughs> but I, I feel like sometimes people can overshade. So I'm always worried about overshading. So I don't, I don't, that's not how I bring my babies to life, basically. I bring them to life with other details and things. So that's, I think a lot of people really bring their babies to make them look realistic with shading like they don't do much of anything else but a lot of shading i've seen babies that's painted with basically like three colors like red a brown and a darker brown or black and brown and red like and so i i do other things to try to bring it to make them lifelike so but everybody have their style and again 
this is why I collect from other artists because I like their style too. I don't think my style is better than theirs. I don't think their style is better than mine. I just think we just have different styles. And every collector like different things. And here's the other part. <laughs> Fun fact, guys. I can promise you, I don't care how fast you are, and I know some of you guys are really fast, like you paint a baby in a day and have it rooted in three. I, you know, I, I, I don't care how fast you do that. You can't paint for the whole community. So with that being said, there's no need for us to tear each other down to try to make ourselves feel better than the next person. Um, because we can't, we, we cannot cover the whole community, black, white, or otherwise. Ooh, I may have to make you fall at that. I was trying to show the bottom of her feet. Oh, that's the bottom of her feet. So their feet are did differently because he's younger, of course, and just just a lot of different little things. Um, I tell people all the time, I feel like I didn't do my best work on the top part of her feet. Um, but other than that, I'm very happy. I'm happy with the way her hands turned out. I love my Zora. Um, it doesn't matter what nobody thinks um actually believe it or not like i said i've said this before um i have people that actually really love zora and people that have been asking to buy zora but then i have people that do not like um this this particular one it's not that they don't like the painting they don't like the scope and i think she's adorable i think she's one of my most cutest babies sorry i just do I love her and I love her in this outfit like I love her with dresses and long socks I think that is gonna be her thing I can't wait the summer and bubble little bubble bump bubble rumpers is gonna probably be my thing for her um so yeah these are my my two um painted by me and oh let me introduce them sorry um so Zora Zora is the Margot, 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 Margot scope by Cassie Bray's head and her arms and legs are limb by Bonnie Brown. Yeah, I did a little switch up there. But um, Memphis is the Alexa scope by Cassie Bray's and he's the full scope. I didn't mix him up. So, and he is one of my top favorite scopes for 2021. Um, he did not come out. The scope did not come out in 2021. I just got him in 2021. So he is probably, I don't know, the scope might have been out two years. I don't know, a year, two years. I don't know. But he's my favorite. Um, these two are my favorite babies out of the ones that I've painted. I mean, I have a personal connection to Taraji, but... These two are my favorites because I think they're rare for me to um, to paint um, these skin tones. So I I was just happy that I was able to get, you know, them almost sweet chocolate. So um, many people have asked me, like, why I don't paint more dark skin babies and that is just basically why i just i don't want to do them i i want to do them justice when i paint them you know growing up as a black girl we didn't have nice black dolls all the pretty dolls were white um like they would have the same doll and they would have like only they'll have like a hundred white dolls and they'll have like five black dolls and everybody rush into the store trying to get them there was a store called pick and save i remember when i went for my first cabbage patch and um well we didn't go there for that but i saw it and i was like oh grandma there's this this cabbage patch over here da, 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 da. so um it was a black one and i was like um I was like, Grandma, I was like, we, we got to get it. We got to get it. It's not going to be here, you know, later or whatever. And she was like, well, I'm not going to get it today. We'll get it another day. I was like, oh, you know. And then she was like, okay. So she got it for me. It was the only black cabbage patch. She had brown hair. And um, so 
we got it we got it home i was so excited it had the little birth certificate and all this stuff and um my my aunt so mind you like i said my grandmother practically raised me so my aunt was in high school and this you know what <laughs> She's like the wild aunt. Like she's the type like she be in a size six and grandma would bring something home and it'll be a size zero and she'll be like, oh, I can fit that mama. I can fit that. And then she'd be trying to squeeze in it, tear it all apart and stuff. And she was like spoiled. So here I was like seven or eight and she got the cabbage trash and brought it home. I was so happy about it. And she threw a tantrum about well, I want it. And my, and my grandma said, well, just let her have it. I'll buy you another one. So I was like, I can't believe she gave her my cabbage. That was the one time. That's probably the only time my grandmother ever sided with anybody outside of me. Like, and so she gave her the black cabbage patch. So we go back to the pick and save. Like, I don't know how long it's been. You know, for kids, it seems like it's like years later. But it really wasn't. It was probably a couple weeks. And we go back in there and we're looking for a black cabbage patch and we can't find one. And we went to different different stores and we could not find one. And grandma was like, asked them and the managers that they have any out in back, you know, that they hadn't brought out. No, no, no. So she was like, well, just, it's okay. Just get another one. And I'll never forget. I named her Patricia. Um, she was a white one with red hair. And I, look, I'm so mad. Let me stop pouting. Um. Don't worry about it. The, the end story is the, the, the end part is great though. Um, so I end up and I get the white cabbage patch and I love her. Like I love Patricia. I had Patricia, you know, and my aunt never played with dolls. So she didn't even care about the cabbage patch. She said I could hold it, but it was hers. Just know that it was hers. I was like, okay. So I have the cabbage patch or whatever. Man, when I left my grandmother house, like sixth grade or so, whatever, when I was packing up my stuff, I took that doll and mine. She wasn't getting that dang old doll. She didn't care nothing about it. So anyway, <laughs> but the story is, the moral story is, is that we went back for months and months and grandma said, don't worry, we'll get this one for now, the white one for now. But when we find the black one, we'll, we'll get you one. But we never could get one because they never were, was in stock. Like never. Then, you know, remember they came out with the corn silk cabbage patches. Oh my God. I never was able to score a black one in that one. Anyway. I kept my dolls all the way up until I was grown. People told me I was selfish for not letting my kids play with them. And it got next to me. Eventually, I let my oldest daughter play with them. She would take them all over the place to daycare, school, da da da. Next thing you know, all my dolls are gone, lost, vintage dolls. Anyway, so that is the story. So when I paint a black doll, I do not want to see it painted wrong. I do not want to see, you know, I and, and that's why, like, it's such a big deal for a lot of black people in the community when we see dolls like that are painted, you know, um, you know, real dark with bright red lips or, you know, a lot of times people that are not of color that doesn't understand our skin tone think that because people like to say, I don't see color. There's no difference. There is a difference, sweetie. I mean, come on. Hello. So, um they will try to paint the black babies like they paint the white babies and it doesn't look right. And so we get frustrated because we've been traumatized our childhood not being able to have dolls that look like us that was beautiful. Even the ones that we did get, like some that I, I got, they had like 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 that Pepto-Bismol pink lips or, you know, a super fire red, like Zora shirt, red lips on a very dark baby. It just, you know, it was just not tastefully done the the blushing on the cheek was way off and then the white baby be so pretty and they be so gorgeous I, at this point grandma just give me the white doll because I, I mean i don't want that one like <laughs> you know what i mean like so my grandma did find one realistic black doll though it was expensive um and she was a sleeper um the only problem with that is that people used to say she looked like she was dead because she was sleeping and I, that would bother me all the time but I would just flip her over when I knew we were having guests and I've told you guys that before. I would just lay her on her tummy like she was sleeping so people wouldn't ask her. They'll say, do her eyes open? The same thing we get today. Do her eyes open? Um, no. People ask me all the time when they come, like they come to my house, do they, do they open their eyes? Do they have some that open their eyes and close their eyes? Yeah, no, 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 no. But anyway, that is why I don't rush into just throwing out 
you know, the the, the black babies. I because I I want them to be nice, if that makes sense. So that is my story <laughs> for today, and these are my babies. And I hope you guys enjoy my work. And like I said, I'm still working on fine tuning all my colors across the board. Um, even light skin babies. You, I mean, if you were light skin, <laughs> forget it. You know, people talk about dark skin. See, here we go. Another 15 minute conversation. But um, people talk about like black, black dolls and it's only fair that we acknowledge the fact there are light skinned people that never got a light skinned doll. That was just, forget it. If the doll was black, it was like really, really black, like really, really black and nine times out of 10, not that pretty, like the coloring and stuff. And it was either grayish black or a, um, just a orangey black or something. It was just not nice. But if you were pecan tan, like, Zora skin tone like Zora is more like I feel like more closer to my skin tone you're an in-between type person in the color range or you were light skin like my children never there were never any dolls in fact I don't even know if it's dolls that skin tone now to be honest I haven't looked in a while but yeah you could not get that you could not get a doll that was you know I bought the doll um the one that um no, I was going to buy it, but I didn't. My neighbor bought one for her daughter and it was like, make the doll look just like you. And she was like, oh, I love it. Don't it look like her? And I'm thinking to myself, like, the color is off, boo-boo. And so I went looking for one for Tabitha when she was young because she was the only one that really played with dolls. And so I was looking for one for Tabitha and uh, yeah, no, I, I couldn't find a skin tone. Because Tabitha is a in between. She's not dark skin. She's not light skin. She's in between. We call them um, pecan tan. Um, people call them. Uh, I call them pecan tan. I hear people talk about paper bag. I ain't going to be no paper bag for nobody, boo. <laughs> but um, anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, when I paint my light skin babies, I feel like there's also a market for those too. Because people could not find light skin babies or you're biracial your mom is 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 black your dad is white or your dad is black and your mom is white i mean why you got to pick a side like you want a biracial baby but in the stores you're not going to get it they did start having like more like uh like asian dolls or like you know what and all they did was just basically give them dark hair like you know it's just crazy stuff like that or change their clothes um, that was always funny to me. Oh, little Oriental, da, 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 da. Okay, it's not a rug. But anyway, they'll, uh, they, they, and they throw this black hair on them and put them on these little clothes that's, like, similar to what, you know, more, um, Asian people wear and stuff. But the doll didn't look Asian, necessarily, or every now and then they would slant the eyes more or something. But it just... We just never had that. So to go out and just muddy up a doll just to say I'm painting dark skin dolls is not for me. If I think I can do it and I get there, I will. And that's that. I'm not going to just boom. I will say it is a special skill acquired by certain individuals in this community that can do it. And I will say this also and I'm going to leave it at this because I don't want anybody to feel any type of way. I am not saying that white people cannot paint black babies. Just for the record. I want to clear that up because first of all, my last baby is, I don't think she's black. I don't even know what color she is. I don't really care. But um, that just shows you a lot. But I, 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 I don't think she is. Um, but she definitely... Um, she definitely have did her research on the markings and the the colorings and different things that is unique to black babies because I see that I I, I see it in this last baby. She's really worked it out. I and as beautiful as Joey is, he is more definitely more of a mixed type baby. But I think this last baby has 
even more so like the palms of the hands and stuff is more spot on for me and stuff. So I don't care what color you are. I just care what color the baby is at the end of the day. But I do feel like when you're more familiar and you know what you're looking at and you know what you're trying to accomplish versus pictures off of Google, because Google like in photography photos, they mute out a lot of the details and the undertones and the veining and the different shadings and stuff that black babies have or babies period. It is so hard. You know, you need raw footage to really get the just of it. Like you need real pictures. It's not edit that's going to show real detail or a real baby. Like just looking at a real baby. Um, it helps a lot. Um, so I am definitely impressed with the artists that do it whether they're black white or otherwise um so anyway that is it i, I think this was the longest video i guess i shouldn't have took that much time huh we were just gonna compare their skin tones but look at us oh. so anyway i don't know how frequently i'm gonna be uploading these but i'm trying to get more content out there for you guys so yeah and we got to bring Miss Andy back, but I got to clean up before she come in here because she talks a lot of crap about me being junky. And I don't feel like hearing it because I'm going to be gonna push that old lady down. I promise y'all I'm sick of her. But um, anyway, we'll get her back later. <laughs>